What's going on, folks? Uh, now it's time for the 2015 Fantasy Outlook for the NFC North Division Champion Green Bay Packers. I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying this. You want at least one Green Bay Packer on your team. Find a way to get one on the team, whether it's the quarterback, running back, defense, wide receiver, tight end, or maybe not tight end, but you want to try to get at least try to get a Green Bay Packer on your team. All right. So let's start off with the quarterback. Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the NFL, and he's probably going to be the best quarterback in fantasy. The only person that's going to be close to him will be Andrew Luck from the Colts. So you're going to have to reach, you're going to have to come heavy. You're going to, you probably can get away with getting him in the second. Some folks have been taking him in the first, but he should be the first quarterback taken off the board. So don't be shocked when you see folks taking him, taking him from the first. I'm not a fan of taking quarterbacks in the first round like that. I'm not even a fan of taking them in the second, but Aaron Rodgers is a, is a pretty useful tool for you. Um, so if you really want him, you're going to either have to grab him at the end of the first or you're going to have to grab him at the beginning of the second. Um, he's, he's, not getting, he's not getting past the second round, period, under any circumstances, in any, any drafts that I've done. Now, as for the running back position, Eddie Lacy has a, a stranglehold on it. James Starks is, comes in to relieve, but Eddie Lacy is going to be the guy, and Eddie Lacy is going to get the majority of the carries, and Eddie Lacy is going to be a top five running back this year. So take that into consideration when you go into your draft. Uh, as for wide receivers, you're going to have two top ten. You have two top ten wide receivers on this team. Jordy Nelson will probably be top five. Um, Jordy Nelson is definitely the guy you want over Randall Cobb. But Randall Cobb is still effective. He's probably going to be a top ten wide receiver. And Jordy's going to be a top five. You're going to have to grab these guys. And the, Jordy's going to probably go in the second. Cobb might be there at the end of the second, early third. Um, as for the tight ends, we're talking about Richard Rodgers and Andrew Corliss. You need to be careful on that. I probably would stay away from both of them. Even though I, even though the Packers have a high-powered offense, they also have a lot of weapons, which puts them at the bottom of the totem pole. They will get red zone targets, but they're not going to be as frequent as you would like it to be for your tight end. So I think there's better options there. So I would stay away from both of them. Um, as for the defense, the defense is interesting. Uh, I think it's going to be middle of the pack. Uh, Dom Caves is still running defense, so they tend to be a little bit more conservative when they get leads. So you have to take that into consideration too. But their special teams is pretty good. Um, you, it's draftable. Uh, there's better options, but they're draftable. They're middle of the pack defense. They're draftable with the special teams. But I want to talk about some of the other players that you can take from the Green Bay Packers. If you draft Eddie Lacy, you definitely need to consider getting James Starks. Somebody else will take James Starks. And you can look into getting Devontae Adams. He's the third wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. He is draftable. He's very draftable because he's in a... Since the Packers are such a high power offense, you can be fine with drafting Devontae Adams uh, in later rounds. You can follow me on Twitter at ChampD1012. I'm out.